Hey guys, in this video, we will be learning how to draw a special effect wall panel. Alright, let's get started. So we will be using the ceiling function to draw the wall panel. Alright, so click onto the wall. Alright, so over here, I've already created, alright, so I'll be creating another one right here. Alright, so we start by drawing a rectangle. Okay, so click onto the rectangle and start drawing. Alright, so next thing we can click onto the box. Okay, and then we can start doing our resize. Okay, so 750. Okay, so for my width, same thing, 750. Okay, so for this box, I'm going to extrude 20. Okay, the distance to my wall. Okay, so it's coming out a little bit like that. Right, so next thing I would like to do is offset. Okay, so we want to create this shape. Okay, so offset. Okay, so just key in 200 for my offset the gap. Right, 200 each side. Okay, so next thing for this small little box, I'm going to extrude back in 10. Okay, next we are going to start by drawing the shape of the corners. Okay, so we are going to use the polyline. Okay, so zoom in closer, so we can just draw the shape. Okay. Alright, join them together. Right click to exit. Alright, next thing, click onto the shape. Right click and make sure you transfer it to an area first. Alright, once you transfer it to an area, okay, next thing we want to do is offset. Okay, as you can see, there's two layers. Okay, so we want to offset 20. Okay, so for this one, the inner layer, okay, so we are going to extrude back in 10. Okay, so we'll get the shape of this. Right, so once we are done with one of the corner, we can just copy, right click to copy, and then just paste until you get four corners. Okay, so four different. So now what are you going to do? So now we are going to rotate the shape of okay so for all the corners so we need to press P all right P all right so just rotate the shape okay so once we are done rotating this side we can press T again all right so this one is to resize and then press another time T to position okay so you can always click on T three times okay so this side done next thing okay same goes to this side t rotate okay t t okay position and one last one t rotate and position all right so once we are done we have got the shape completed okay so when we are done completing the shape okay we can quickly just put in our material first all right so we are going to drag our materials into our 3d all right so once we are done putting in all the materials, okay, so we can just click onto control and highlight the box. All right, so now we place it, position it 750. Okay. Okay, so next thing we want to do is right click. We can use the paving continuous to pave across the entire wall. And there you have it. So this is how to draw special effect wall panel. Good luck trying guys.